Of the holiest of India's sacred rivers, three are at the top of the list. The Ganga, the Yamuna and the Saraswati. One of these three rivers, the Saraswati, is a river shrouded in mystery. In the Rig Vedas, which is one of the oldest records in an Indo-European language written between 1500 and 1200 BC, it is mentioned as a great and sacred river in the northwest of India. It is believed that the Gagar, as it is also called, flowed at full strength about 10,000 years ago during the liquefaction of the Ice Age glaciers in the Himalayan mountain ranges. In the modern times, however, the river Saraswati no longer physically exists. It is believed to continue to flow in a metaphysical form, joining the other two sacred rivers, the Ganges and the Yamuna, at Prayagraj, a city in the state of Uttar Pradesh. In the Hindu tradition, Triveni Singham, the confluence of three rivers, is a very sacred place. A bath in the river here is said to wash away all the sins and free a person from the cycle of rebirth. Saraswati is also the Hindu goddess of knowledge and art. She is believed to be the embodiment of wisdom. The four Vedas, the books of universal knowledge, were her progeny. Her mount, the swan, embodies pure knowledge and her herald, the peacock, is a symbol of the arts. Schools and libraries are her temples. Saraswati is also the name of an extremely massive supercluster discovered by a team of Indian astrophysicists. Superclusters are the largest coherent structures in the universe. They are chains of galaxies and clusters of galaxies that span millions of light years and can contain hundreds of trillions of stars. The supercluster in which our galaxy is located is known as the Laniakea supercluster, which spans 500 million light years. The Saraswati supercluster is over 600 million light years across and contains the mass equivalent of over 200 million billion suns, making it one of the largest large-scale structures in the nearby universe. Astrophysicists from the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics and the Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research examine data from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey to study the large-scale structure of the universe. While reviewing the data, they found a supercluster located about 4 billion light years from Earth in the constellation Pisces. The large scale structures in the universe are hierarchical in nature, with galaxies along with the associated gas and dark matter grouped into clusters, which in turn are organized with other clusters, smaller groups, filaments, orbits, and large empty regions called voids in a pattern called the cosmic web. Galaxies are thought to form mainly along the filaments and orbits of the cosmic web. Many of the galaxies migrate along these filaments and eventually end up in the rich galaxy clusters, where the crowded environment turns off their star formation and transforms them from being beautiful disc-shaped spiral galaxies into rather featureless red elliptical galaxies. We see the Saraswati supercluster in the SDSS data as it would have looked when the universe was about 10 billion years old. Not only is Saraswati one of the largest superclusters discovered to date, but its existence raises some serious questions about our current cosmological models. The current prevailing model for cosmic evolution does not predict that such a supercluster should exist when the universe was 10 billion years old. This theory, known as the cold dark matter model, predicts that small structures such as galaxies first formed in the universe and then coalesced into larger structures. Variations of this model exist, but none predict that something as large as Saraswati could have existed 4 billion years ago. The Saraswati supercluster formed at a time when dark energy began to dominate the structure formation in the universe, replacing gravity as a primary force of cosmic evolution. The discovery of this most massive of superclusters could shed light on how and when dark energy played an important role in supercluster formation. This also opens the door to other cosmological theories that compete with the cold dark matter model that may offer more coherent explanations for why Saraswati could exist 10 billion years after the Big Bang. Unlike experimental physics, where experiments can be performed to understand and define how a natural phenomena works, theoretical physics relies on observations like these and then employs mathematical models to explain what we see. This way, we get a model that fits best, even if it is not necessarily the most accurate. 
as research progresses the models often get better and better or we come across a phenomena that cannot be explained by this model this gives scientists the opportunity to rethink their theories about how the universe works and develop more accurate models that can explain the observations made this image shows the distribution of galaxies from the sloan digital sky survey it is clear that the density of galaxies is very high in the central region of the image which is the region of the saraswati supercluster the typical size of galaxies here is about 250000 light years Abel 2631 and ZWCL 2341 are two of the most massive galaxy clusters in the Saraswati supercluster. In total, the Saraswati supercluster consists of about 43 galaxy clusters.